All right, guys, welcome back. As you see, nasty day out, raining, raining for the last two days. Not much to do, can't take the bike out. So I do have some things that I wanna upgrade. I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna be doing it in the garage. Um, just came back from Harley, picked up these items, and I'll be installing them very soon. Some personalization, making uh, the bike mine, looking good the way I like it. Uh, that's it. Oh yeah, what's with the hat? That's something I also got at Harley. Well, my dad, 77, 78 years old, God bless. Um, he's been going every few months to the doctor, you know. He has hit my hair hairstyle, like no hair. And being so many years in the sun, uh, growing up uh, and living in Israel, where there's a lot of sun over there. Nowadays, he has to go every two, three months to the doctor, to the dermatologist to make sure that, you know, that uh, he's not getting uh, skin cancer. So he said, Sandy, take my advice. My doctor told me all these years in the sun, it's an accumulative thing. Wear a hat, wear a hat, wear a hat. So I think I'm going to embrace and take his suggestion on that. Went to Harley, picked up this nice lid. So that's it. Wow. Okay, the last part that I was waiting for just got here in the mail. This is, I've been searching forever for uh, this. I just want to replace this red piece of plastic. I want to keep all the internals because I have a great, great, great LED inside that is extremely bright, but I want to get rid of this uh, red looking. I need to black out everything. I couldn't find it. Whatever I look online, all I find is like, uh, the LED setup, you know, with the, the all the internals. All I needed is this, uh, just the plastic itself. So I got this uh, from Revzilla, believe it or not. The only item I can find, let's hope, let's hope it fits because it looks, it looks like it's slimmer, like a, a shorter, smaller profile than this. I'll check it out and then I'll complete the whole look of blacked out. This, of course, is coming off. Drag special tees. Special tees. Oh, it actually does have the internals. And I think it's actually gonna accommodate the bulb that I have. And it's nice and uh, a low profile. So let's check it out. Let's, uh, let's take this one off. Okay, these, I wanna keep this whole thing and just get this plastic out. If this comes out, I'm gonna use these, of course, these uh, bolts, these two screws. Okay, I got it out. And this is the an LED that I installed a few months ago. I got it from uh, a guy that uh, actually sent it to me, Paradise uh, Lights, and it's extremely bright. But it's very, very long and big. Anyway, um, I think, it actually isn't fitting. It's too big. It's too long. <laughs> anyway, it's not fitting. It's too big. So I just wanna see that, first of all, that it's gonna fit properly, the plastic itself on the mount. And if it will, I'll uh, search, uh, search Amazon for a, a shorter, smaller light bulb that is also really, really bright. So let's check it out first. I'll have to get a, uh, this one is a 3157. It's this, uh, it's this base connecting uh, base. I have a whole video of talking, uh, that talks about all the lights that I change, all the LEDs uh, with all the different bases. You can check it out. I'll put a link right over here. Oh yeah, so it will fit. Now I just need to get the proper low profile uh, bulb. Okay, it's back on again, I couldn't get it done. Now we're gonna do, uh, remove this whole bracket in order to be able to get the license plate mounting plate behind it. There's two bolts right here, one behind this, another behind here. You can actually see them uh, right here. Hopefully I'm able to show, I'll put a little yellow arrow over there, one, and on the other side, two. Access to them is very difficult. I helped John the other day with my 
my uh, tiny hands to get in there and unbolt them. The access is so difficult. I have to take that out, remove this whole uh, mounting bracket, and then on top of that, mount the frame. I'll show you in a second. I learned from John's install, even the smallest, uh, smallest 13 millimeter uh, socket is, is too, is too big or too, yeah, too big to get it to fit into there. So literally take uh, initially a wrench, a closed wrench, 13 mil, go in there, uh, uh, unlo like loosen it up. And then with your fingers, you can literally take that out. So Got that bolt out with smallest wrench. The best way to do it that way, yep. Same thing on the other side. Literally, you don't see what you're doing. You can't look down there, you need to feel it. Feel what you're doing and like, just like a gynecologist pretty much. <laughs> and it's out, second one is out too. What a difference, just it's all about the tool. It's knowing to choose, it's knowing to pick the right tool for the job. Now this whole thing should be coming right off. There you go, it's right off, there you go. Let me grab it, I need my other hand so I don't scratch, don't drop it and scratch anything. That's off. Okay, there's bolts. Was it bolts? Do you see them? Those two nuts need to come off and mount the uh, the bracket, the chrome uh, plate bracket onto that. You gotta be very careful not to scratch the fender. But the truth is once, once you get that, uh, loosen that, you can finger open it like using your fingers, you can un tighten it. There you go. Second one is out. Now this whole thing comes out. It's garbage. And we'll put the curved bracket right here. So here's the curved bracket, a Harley Davidson part. Uh, there's a lot of uh, other uh, companies that make it. Kuryakin makes it, I think. Custom Dynamics makes it. I'm not sure. I think I saw pretty much, I got this for a good price. I got uh, a nice discount. So it came out to the same price as uh, the competition. So I'm gonna run with this. That's the outer rim. These are sponges that go like on the back of the plate right here on the bottom. So it, it hits the fender and doesn't scratch, I guess. Uh, this is something I'm not gonna use. All kinds of uh, protecting, protective uh, sponges and, and pieces of foam. And the actual bolts that mount right here, right here. So let's connect this guy right here in the back with the bolts that I just took off, these two, and then we'll continue from there. Same thing, the bolts in the back, bolts back in. So that's it guys, I got that. I got those bolts tightened in. No need for blue Loctite, but you do need to torque them down to 16.7 of foot pounds of torque. 16.7, not 16.8, okay? Make sure. Okay, next step we're gonna tuck these uh, wires that I just pulled out by while I was playing around with this. 
mount it over here and put back those uh, tricky bolts. Here they are, those tricky bolts on the bottom. Got one in. Now the second one. Nice. Okay, before I tighten them down, I'm gonna actually use uh, these strips right here on the bottom. Right here on the bottom. So what? Uh, it doesn't knock on my fender. Actually, I should have done that before I mounted it, but we'll try to salvage this after all. There you go. Got it glued on. And how about these two? Maybe these two we'll put over here. These guys, these blocks. I'll put one on each side. I'll put one over here and one on this side right here, right here in the back. There you go. One here, one here. As you can see, one here, the one here. Now, tighten the bolts from uh, the nuts. Actually, those are bolts from the other side. That's it, nice and tight. And so is the other one. There you have it. Now, let's just make sure that uh, with all the wiring over here that I didn't mess up anything. Let me sh let's make sure let's make sure it still works. Yeah, all lights are still functioning properly, so we're good. Let's put the, this guy inside. I need to curve it a little bit. Provided bolts. These are uh, actually blue Loctite over here. There you have it. Okay, the next upgrade is to complete the beautiful job I did on the uh, the Arlen S uh, high flow air intake that I chose to use, you know, to complete, uh, I mean, to retain the original look of the bike with this bulky, beautiful air intake. Uh, I decided I wanna chrome out this area and replace this 107 badge or accent or trim, whatever you wanna call it, and get something nice and chrome. So this is what I picked up. The Kahuna Collection Air Cleaner Trim. Nice. Nice and simple and clean. Matches the red that I have on my, uh, on my tank. First thing is to take this guy off. This guy is pretty much uh, held in place with Velcro. So let's just snap it off. Ugh. Well, <laughs> there's no, no turning back. It's all bent. And this is a 3M two-sided tape that I have to uh, clean up, just like I did actually with the saddlebag reflect the saddlebag reflectors. Gonna try heat gun. Heat gun never fails. Heat it up. Soften the glue. Yeah, heat does all the difference. 
Okay, clean it off. Now this trim panel to 3M with uh, Velcro. It's always, uh, you're always able to take it out when you wanna, if you wanna open up uh, the filter. One and two, pardon me guys. Uh, what do you say? I'll take it out to, to the light when there's light later. The red, the red chrome. I think it looks nice. I think it looks really nice. Let's roll the bike out so we can see to get a better view of what we did today. That is all guys. This is what we've done today. Nice chrome tucked curved license plate frame. This did not work out. Actually, the plastic itself fits. I'm waiting for uh, the LED to come in the next few days and then we'll complete the look. The whole thing will be blacked out. The air cleaner with this Kahuna trim piece all chrome tell me what you guys think do you like it After looking at this in the sun, this chrome is not as shiny as the surrounding chrome. I think it's just polished aluminum or something. You notice the difference in the tone? I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it. Tell me what you guys think. Is it a good match? Does it fit? I don't know. I have to get used to it. In a week or two, you'll know if I actually kept it or not. I'm trying to polish it now, see if it's gonna get a little bit brighter. That's it guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video, this uh, upgrade, all these three items that I upgraded. If you like this video, appreciate if at this stage you give me uh, like a thumbs up. Wanna watch more of my videos and not, not subscribe to the channel? Do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you get that bell so you get notifications every time a new video comes out. I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Peace out.